toe squat is one of yin yoga's slightly more challenging postures. And for some people, it can be excruciatingly painful. For other people, it's blissful. A lot of the time, this is gonna depend on your anatomy, how much extension do your toes actually give you and how thick and tight is the tissue at the soles of your feet. Most yin classes, when they introduce toe squat, people will have an internal reaction, but the teacher might just guide you straight into the posture. I do it a little bit differently. So come along with me and I'm gonna show you my progressive step-by-step -step way to come into toe squat to find the best place for you to practice with your feet and ankles. The first thing we're gonna do is start by coming up onto all fours. So just finding your hands and finding your knees and feet on the mat. And then we're just gonna begin by tucking the toes under. Just nice and slow, nice and simple and see if you can get a reading here of how intense that feels for you. This might be really strong, or you might feel that this is pretty mild. If it's really strong, you might just stop here. This might be your toe squat. If you wanna go a little further, my suggestion is to walk the feet and the knees together, and then just start by bringing the hands a little closer back towards you, so the hips will move further to the heels. How's that there? Is that too strong? Is that strong enough? that might be where you stop. If you do wanna go a little further, the next thing you could do is start by walking your hands up onto your thighs, but lean forward slightly. So there's a bit, bit of weight coming into the actual forearms. The final station, which is for some classes, the first station is to then sit back onto the heels. How's that? Is it too strong? or do you feel like you could be here for some time? If it's too strong, it's very easy with this progressive step-by-step step to just walk back around, just come back to the place you just were, or bring the hands back onto the floor, or even come all the way back out onto hands and knees. I usually only really invite students to come into toe squat for about a minute because it's so strong. So you can go ahead now and just release your feet and then come into a rebound of your choice, maybe child's pose or laying down on your belly. I hope you found this video helpful today. If you did, feel free to check out some of my other videos here on yin yoga tutorials.